Howdy freeze dryers, have you ever wanted to have a tuna fish sandwich when you're camping or you're on a road trip or for the zombie apocalypse? Well I have and it's just really not very convenient to haul a, a cooler or a jar of mayonnaise with you or a can opener to open these tuna fish cans. So today I think I have a freeze dryer friendly recipe for a tuna fish sandwich. We're going to get the whole tuna fish sandwich, I'm going to do it a couple different ways and today we're going to find out if tuna fish will even freeze dry today on Live Life Simple. Man, I hope this freeze dries is a lot of tuna fish otherwise. <laughs> so we have a couple obstacles to overcome today. Uh, first of all, mayonnaise. Mayonnaise does not freeze dry. No bueno on the mayonnaise. It doesn't do well in the freeze dryer, so we need to figure out an alternative for the mayonnaise. The second is that will tuna fish freeze dry because fish sometimes does not do well because it's oily and if you don't get the right kind of tuna fish especially some comes in water and some comes in oil so make sure if you're gonna make this recipe you're gonna give this a try to get the tuna fish that's in water so to get past the mayonnaise issue I'm gonna try this two different ways today I'm gonna try substituting the mayonnaise with yogurt which we know will freeze dry and hopefully give us that tuna fish uh, mixture that we're used to and then I'm also going to try and rehydrate with mayonnaise on the second version that way we can have the mayonnaise version of the tuna fish mixture that we're used to. No tuna fish sandwich would be complete without our bread so I think I have a successful way that we can rehydrate bread like this and then just as a plan B and a backup we're gonna cut up and make some pita chips to dip into, and that way if our bread doesn't work, we have an alternative. For today's recipe, we're gonna need tuna fish in a can, of course, make sure that it is in water and not oil. We're gonna need some whole dill pickles. We're gonna need some smoked paprika, a little sumac, which is a spice, uh, this is optional. Some Dijon mustard, some mayo for uh, when we rehydrate with the mayo some lemon juice, some stalks of celery, and some onion. So I'm gonna start with a smaller portion for this recipe and then we'll kind of work our way up to fill the tray. We need 12 ounces of tuna fish. Then we're gonna finely chop a stalk of celery and add that in there. And then a couple spears of dill pickle and then some chopped onion as well. I'm doing about half of a red onion. If you don't want that much onion in there, you can cut it down. Now we need three quarters of a cup of plain yogurt. I'm not doing Greek yogurt because Greek yogurt tends to be kind of chalky when it freeze dries. So I'm just doing plain whole milk yogurt. And then a teaspoon of lemon juice, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And then if you want to, you can throw in a little salt and pepper to your liking. We're gonna mix all this together and this should be ready for the tray and then we'll see how many times we need to do this recipe to fill a medium and how many we need to do a large. And because we're not using mayonnaise and mayonnaise adds a lot of flavor to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of sumac and then a little bit of smoked paprika as well. And all of these ingredients you can kind of adjust accordingly depending on how you like your tuna fish mixture. That's what one of our recipes did on a large tray. I think that maybe I'm gonna double it and see where that gets us. I think that'll put us right where we need to be. I don't wanna get those trays too full, but I think for a medium, you probably wanna double or triple that recipe. All right, well, it looks like 3X will fill that large tray. If you're doing a medium, I would probably do two times that recipe we just did. Now, for the next tray, we're gonna do everything that we just did but without the mayo, or in this case, the yogurt. And there's our tuna fish mixture. Everything except for the mayo in here. I'm gonna pop some dividers in. Another thing that I forgot to mention, when you're measuring out this tuna, make sure that you have the right measurement because there is a net weight, which would be with the water, and then a drained weight, which is quite a bit less. This is a quarter of the, of the weight less when it's drained. So keep that in mind when you're making this recipe. I'm putting our dividers in the 20 portion configuration. I'm gonna also do that 20 portion configuration on the, uh, the stuff with the yogurt in it. And uh, for some of the difficult things for dividers, if it's difficult to push 
push down. Sometimes it helps if you have the lids, if you push down on the lids and then snap the corners, it will actually help cut through all of that stuff. So I'm only doing three trays because I just want to make sure that this is going to work first. Uh, my last tray, I'm doing four pieces of bread and then I took some, uh, some pita chips and slice those into good dipping size. We're gonna freeze dry those, see what those do. I'm gonna uh, take these down to the freeze dryer. We're gonna roll it, run a full cycle today, no pre-freeze. All right, well this is the part where I ask you to subscribe to Live Life Simple. If you haven't done that already, you can just click on that little logo down at the right hand side of this video. Click on that, that'll subscribe you. And while you're there, click the bell because the bell will give you notifications every time we have a new video that comes out, which is Sunday at 8 a.m. And if you find our videos helpful, let us know by clicking that like button. That lets us know and it also lets you YouTube know, and then YouTube will push these videos to people that, that actually want to see freeze drying or can find these videos helpful. And don't worry because I'm not putting this freeze dry cycle to waste. Uh, I'm going to do the fourth tray in some kale powder, fifth tray in some guacamole. And if you ever have questions or you want to join our community of freeze dryers, make sure you join our Facebook or our MeWe group. Those are our social media groups. And when you get there, you can use this magnifying glass to search all the old threads, any kind of comments, names names, keywords, things like that. Lots of knowledge and experience on there. And if you have questions ever about the freeze dryer or want to check out the freeze dryer, prices, specs, etc., use our affiliate link. It can be found down in the description. And to get to the description of the video, you either hit that little down arrow or you go to show more depending on what kind of device you're on. And if you purchase a freeze dryer through our affiliate link, it helps us develop new products for freezedryingsupplies.com that streamline the whole freeze drying process. And then we also use a portion of that to do free giveaways in our social media groups and I'm actually gonna be in and out of the house for the next day or two so I'm gonna use my real link camera that lets me watch this whenever I want if you're interested in one of those you can find that in the description as well and with all of that said with any luck we'll have a freeze-dried tuna fish sandwich a complete tuna fish sandwich in around 48 hours or so see ya well, the cycles that I've been running lately have been getting a lot longer because uh, partially because the weather is starting to get humid where we live again, which always makes the freeze dryer take longer. And partially because I'm running full cycles and I don't usually do that. And our guacamole and our kale powder may not have helped out with that situation either. But here's our tuna fish. This is with the yogurt. This is without. There's our bread and our pita. The bread shrunk down quite a bit. Be interesting to see if we can get that to turn out. I have not had good luck with it in the past, but uh, I think I have a different method we can try. I'm gonna bag and tag all of these and then uh, put them in the Avid Armor, vacuum seal them. We'll take them upstairs, see if we can get a tuna fish sandwich to happen. So for our bread rehydration, we just put in some wet paper towels into a Ziploc bag. And this has been in the fridge for about 15 or 16 hours. You can see the bread is actually totally soft already. It's not soggy, it's usable right now. We're ready for the tuna fish sandwich and uh, I'll, uh, we'll do that right now. And I actually kind of have a perfect opportunity to do this right now because I'm on vacation and I don't have refrigeration uh, easily accessible. So I have some mayo to rehydrate with, some water, and then some gourmet chipotle mayo also, which might be interesting. So I have some bread that I brought from home. I have some crackers and then I have our rehydrated bread. And surprisingly, it actually survived the trip as well. So let's pop this open. All right, so our pita chips turned out really nice. They're very crunchy, but they'll accent this tuna fish really nice. I'm gonna rehydrate. This is without the mayo, so we're gonna open up the mayo. We're gonna add some to that, as well as some water, because there was some water also in the, the tuna. So we'll let that one hang out for a second and then we will just add water to our tuna salad. So here's our tuna salad. 
Here's our tuna salad rehydrated with mayo. And there's our tuna salad rehydrated with the uh, spicy chipotle mayo. So let's just do our tuna rehydrated with mayo first on our freeze dried bread as well. That should be really interesting. It worked perfect. It actually worked perfect. Here's our tuna fish sandwich with our alternative to mayo. Now also rehydrated really well. You don't get quite the tuna fish solid sandwich taste because of there's no mayo. Definitely uh, you get everything else though. I think it worked awesome. Now let's try some of our spicy chipotle tuna fish and we'll try it on our freeze dried pita bread. Bottoms up. That's pretty killer. Well, if you like a little bite, that stuff is pretty amazing. Uh, that might be my favorite right there. The stuff rehydrated with the mayonnaise definitely turned out the best, um, but the stuff with the alternative is totally fine too. You just don't get quite as much of the uh, tuna fish sandwich taste because you don't have any mayo. I do have a small-ish concern about long-term storage uh, because it's meat, um, as with any meat, especially fish because it's a little bit more oily. Uh, but I think that this will be my new travel companion. I think it's awesome. But I would call that a wrap. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple, and we'll catch you next week.